Oh, is that his little head? His little face. <gasps> mm -hmm. Cute little face. Hello, my friends. It's Ro. Welcome back. I have little man's anatomy scan today, and I am so beyond excited. I'm over the moon. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm using these new beat head beats. Oops. No, I just got this all over myself. I broke the top of this. So now I have to unscrew it and rescrew it and all that stuff. I'm just doing my makeup. It is 1219. My appointment's at three, so I have to leave the house at 2.30. I have a call, really cool. I have a call with a radio station here in Vegas. That's at one. So I have that in about 40 minutes. And then I have, no, it's 12.49. I was gonna say, it's not that early. I have that in about 10 minutes. And then I have to finish getting ready. And then I'm gonna meet Adam at the doctor. We will film as much as we possibly can. The last time I was at the doctor, for you guys that aren't mamas and don't know this, the anatomy scan can happen between weeks, according to my doctor, between weeks 19 and 21. Since my last appointment was Oh, let's see, 17 weeks. I was supposed to go at the end of last week, which was the end of 21 weeks. Now I'm almost 22 weeks, but they didn't schedule my appointment. And that's something that I wanted to talk about actually today. I had this appointment, I kept this appointment, but that's probably the fifth mistake that this doctor has made, that this doctor's office has made. I'm not gonna blame the doctor. They messed up two of my appointments. So that's not the biggest of deals and I'm the most easygoing person, but now we're talking about my baby, my baby's health, my baby's life, my baby's introduction into this world. And you messed up two appointments, not too big of a deal, it's COVID, you know, I could forgive that. You were supposed to prescribe me an antibiotic four months ago, I still haven't gotten it, I've asked for it, which is bad. And then the last straw that kind of broke the camel's back was that they never prescribed me a rescue inhaler. That is a life-saving drug. Gratefully, my asthma is not that bad. They don't know that though. There's a life-saving drug. It is a rescue inhaler. I had to tell you four weeks later that you never gave it to me. That should never happen. And I could have called the office and asked for it. Again, my asthma is not that bad, but the whole point is you messed up four times. Or is that five? I don't know. And I was just gonna like suck it up and stick it out. But one of our friends, Adam made a really good friend here whose wife has just had a baby. She's four months old. She's a little bit older. I think she had her baby in her late thirties. So she's like, I went to the most amazing high risk doctor. If you're not 100% happy with yours, which she didn't even know about my experience at the time. She's like, I would highly, highly, highly recommend him. All of my appointments were incredible. He was very thorough. He explained everything to me. They constantly checked on me. They constantly checked on the size of my baby. And she's like, it just depends on you. Like if you want all that, or if you don't, if that'll cause you anxiety. For me, it's not gonna cause me anxiety. I don't care either way. I'm fine not seeing him. I'm fine being monitored. Not a big deal, because I feel great. But she said labor and delivery was great. He comes to whatever hospital your insurance takes, which is another check for me because I am at a doctor's office right now that's a practice. So there are two doctors and there's a midwife. They don't all go on call every night. Whoever's on call when you go into labor is the one that will deliver your baby. So if maybe there's one that you don't have the best relationship with, they could possibly deliver the baby. Is that a big deal for me? No, because I like all of them, but it's also nice to build a rapport with somebody and then know for a fact they will, I mean, in a perfect world, if everything goes smoothly and they get there in time and you get there in time and you guys know, but that's what I would. I would prefer. So I think after today, we're gonna switch. Adam is really good at sneaking his phone in these appointments and trying to get video. So I'll be back with a full update. I did blow out my hair today. Obviously it's back like this because I'm doing my makeup, but you guys have been commenting about my hair and my curls since I've been pregnant. I think it's the prenatals, just making my hair look thicker and fuller. And I'm excited that I have that opportunity and it's long, it needs to be cut so so bad. It's really pretty, but it's really dead, like from there down. I just craved a straight hair look today. Why? I'm really not sure. I was joking with Kat. I'm like, you're a hairdresser. My hairdresser BFF could appreciate the fact that I'm not craving any food right now, but I'm craving straight hair and a flat iron. Bizarre. I'm also drinking a ton of water today. This is my 
third liter of water. Just to put it in perspective, four liters is a gallon. Somebody told me that you need to drink a lot of water to make baby more visible on the ultrasound. It's, I guess it's easier. I don't really know the science behind it. That and also my friend Sarah told me to drink juice or have like a little bit of sugar right before the scan to get baby to move so they go into the right position so they can see everything. Now an anatomy scan, I originally thought, cause I have no experience with this. I thought an anatomy scan meant to check the gender of the baby, which I already know it's a boy because we got a blood test. I was excited to go anyway because we've only ever seen one. Yeah, no, two. We've only seen two ultrasounds of the baby. One when he was eight weeks. So he just looked like a little gummy bear. It literally didn't even look like a human being. And then the second one was adorable, but it was on the little phone Doppler the nurse was holding. And I'll put the link to the video that it's in up there. But Adam, love him for it, snuck a picture of her phone so you could see the baby. Actually, you could see a really good view of the baby. He's my hero for doing that. Do I look crazy? Yes, we're doing a little contour today. Why? Because we only go to the doctor nowadays, so we get dressed up for it. Anatomy scan is not just for gender. They told me at my last appointment, clueless mama over here. It is also to check the very important things like the baby's heart, brain, I think lungs, and then, you know, they're gonna like count fingers and count toes. And of course, at that point, they check genitals because there are a lot of parents out there that didn't get a scan and they don't know. Everybody's different and everybody has a different desire, wants to know, doesn't wanna know, but that would have killed me had I not known for all of these weeks that I was having a baby boy, especially because we were calling him before we knew what it was, a girl, calling my belly she, and it's funny, mama's intuition, I always felt so guilty when we called him, we called my belly a girl. I will be back from my doctor's appointment. Adam's gonna meet me. He's leaving work at about 2.30. I'm leaving here at about 2.30. We're coming from opposite directions of town and we're meeting at the hospital. So I will see you then. Mwah. We are at a red light, heading into the doctor's office. My hand is in a really bad spot holding my phone. So I'm gonna go, but Adam's running about 10 minutes late, so he's gonna meet me there. I told him, I was like, well, they have to take my blood pressure or my weight, so it should be enough time. But he was like, well, tell them to wait. And I'm like, oh my God, it's a doctor. Like, they can tell me to wait. I can't tell them to wait. Hurry your cute little butt up. So more from there. So I just got to the parking lot. I just parked the car. I called Adam to see if maybe he was able to move a little faster. And he's like, I'm still in the same damn spot I was when you called me before, 13 minutes ago. He's like, so now I'm 20 minutes out. There must be an accident. He's literally at a dead standstill on the highway. So he's like, just stall, like go in a couple of minutes late and I will get there as soon as I possibly can. And it has me all stressed out. Is it the biggest of deal? No, women have delivered during COVID and went to every single appointment by themselves. I will be fine if I'm in there by myself, but I just feel bad because this is a second visit in a row. Something happened and he isn't gonna be able to go in with me. I want him to experience this as much as I do. I want him there for support for me. This is a big one, like sure everything's fine, but this is where they check the brain and the heart and the lungs and all that stuff. And God forbid something's not okay. I need him there. I'm searching my car high and low for chapstick. My lips are so dry and I changed out into my little crossbody bag. So I didn't bring my huge bag. It's like a suitcase and it's getting heavier and harder to carry carry as I get heavier and bigger. So normally my car is a drugstore and I have a little bit of everything, but the one thing I don't this current moment in time is chapstick. We'll survive. I love you guys and I'm hoping Adam can make it, but it's time for me to go in. So we're halfway through our appointment. This is really funny. I'm glad we decided to do a check-in. I'm like, should we finish the vlog? And Adam's like, we're not done. And I was like, well, should we do a check-in? But we should because of what I said in there. It's true. We did our anatomy scan. Mm -hmm. You guys will see. I'll, we both got video of the whole thing on our phones. But Adam was a little late. There was an accident on the highway when he was driving here. <laughs> Tell them about about everything when you got here. Uh, it's so cute. Okay, so I was a little stressed out. And I even in the moment was thinking about, my God, this is an ultrasound. And if I am this stressed driving 90 miles an hour, I hope my mom's not listening, 90 miles an hour. That's once, like average here though, for real. I thought they drove fast in Jersey, uh-uh. Well, once we broke out from the accident, whatever was backed up there and I got clear, well, a little bit clear. You know, I haven't, honestly, I have not sped 
not really sped since I've been here and I felt like you were in labor and I needed to be there <laughs> and I had to get there as quickly as possible and I even coming off the highway here you know down here at the corner where the light is since the line was all the way back I just went down the, the straight the lane that's supposed to go straight and just cut in front of this old guy and I felt so bad. I'm like, I'm sorry. Oh my God, I'm you were the a-hole. I was like, I'm sorry. It's an emergency. It's my an wife's emergency. had an She's scan. having an ultrasound right now. <laughs> I have to go. And then when I got here, and I don't know if they, can, they can't see where we're parked. Um, we're parked. all the way across. Like it's gotta be a good 400, 800 feet. Miles, meters. Forget it, just go. Yeah. Okay. Say it's about a hundred yards from here to to the door into the hospital. Did like, I just make it two tracks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm not dramatic. So it's about a hundred yards, and there's no place to park in here. It's all like restricted parking, staff only. And I was telling her as we're coming out the door, I contemplated pulling right up to the front door <laughs> and just leaving the car there, you know. But then I was like, no, they <laughs> they definitely will tow it. And that'll be a whole other issue. So I came around, I pulled into this spot way out here as far as you can get from the front door and, and I'm trying to get the key out the ignition and it won't come out. And I realized the car's not even in park, right? So I have to put it in park, take the key out, I'm grabbing my stuff, you know? Yeah, just like what you would see in the, in the movies. I'm like, my God, if I'm like this now. And I take off sprinting across the parking lot and people are looking at me like, the well, best place to sprint across the parking lot is a hospital. We're at a hospital, right? So they know they know it's serious. Uh, it's Whatever, so serious. Whatever's going on right it's now. It's an ultrasound. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to miss it. it uh, thank you. And I told Adam, I was like, God forbid we're not together when we're in labor. At least I know you're going to rush. But when he got there, I texted him and I was like, just call me because they told me that you're allowed to just come right back when you come and just give them my name. So he called me, but nobody was at the front desk and he was on speaker and he's like, nobody's here. And the ultrasound tech was like, is he at the right office? There's always somebody at the front desk. And I knew he was at the right office because he's been there a few times. So finally he called me back and he's like, there's nobody here. And she's like, he sounds really stressed. I'll go get him. She was so sweet. I'm, but, gl I'm glad that she did. Because I was about ready to come through the door and just start yelling her name. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> where are you? So, then when they, everything looks great with baby. We have all these pictures. We've got the whole thing on video. We'll share some. But we literally have the whole thing on video. Where's his foot? Can you find one of his foot? This is like a proud mom and dad moment. I'm sorry. I'm, I think I'm more proud than Adam, but. There's the feet. That foot. I was like, that's a big foot. And she's like, that is a big foot. <laughs> I was like, proud mom. <laughs> yes. She asked me if we knew the gender already. And I said, yes, it's a boy. I was like, but you're going to confirm that today, right? Just in case. And she was like, like laugh. Like, yeah, it's confirmed. But yeah. Well, he wanted the world to know he was a boy. Because as soon as daddy walked in, he pretzled himself <laughs> into a position where his legs were over his head. And he was just, there was no mistaking that we have a big footed little man in there proud mom proud mom so then the only thing that got me like a little nervous like baby is perfectly fine he was like he was cooperating he moved and she was like oh good boy when she had to like shake him up get him out of baby yoga position i think he was doing showing you like daddy look i can do toast to bar too <laughs> that's what we were doing at the gym yesterday she went to go get the measurements of my cervix and she got like a little i i think i read it wrong anxiety wise but like a little funny like all right we're gonna have to do an internal to check your cervix but everything with that's what got me because she said but everything with baby is fine we are such first-time parents by the way it reminds me of that commercial where like baby number one is like this yeah. baby number two she's like oh hold on one second baby number three she's like handing the baby to like the milkman there are no milkmans anymore in 2021 but like the ups amazon man was like here <laughs> hold can, on one second can you watch him for a minute yeah so anyway so i got nervous but she did have to do an internal which didn't hurt as bad this time i think i'm just like used to i think in the like first trimester everything's so tight still in my round ligament and everything 
that it hurt worse the first time but now it was fine and she was like everything looks great she said i thought you had a short cervix that's why i had to measure it and i was like oh man i guess he's got a longer way to go she thought i meant like cooking and she's like no he needs to stay in there for a while i'm like no no no. i just don't want to have to push him through the holland tunnel like, <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't mind a short cervix although it seems like that would have been an issue the way that well, i mean but everything's fine. Everything's service good. looks good. Service, no. Sir Vix looks good. Baby looks good. I just want to get the view from these mountains look gorgeous. So we'll flip it. Well, it looks like there might be some rain in Vegas. The day I straighten my hair. I haven't done that since November. It's March. I straighten my hair. It's going to rain. So at least we know how to make it rain. Of course. And then the last thing is the doctor that we're supposed to be meeting with today is in delivery. So she's like somebody's, you know, in the middle of pushing. And I was like, well, you can't get me out with somebody's pushing. But I said to Adam, because she went to go check with the front desk, um, how long it was going to be. And we were going to decide if we were going to stay or reschedule. So Adam said, well, why don't we just leave? Like, go get lunch and come back. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's not prison visit. We're allowed to leave and come back. Unlike mm. our former life. So that's what we're doing. They were fine with that. We have about, well, probably about 45 minutes now. So we're just going to go grab some food. We're going to Mimi's. Going to Mimi's Cafe. And we'll be back after we meet our midwife if there's any more updates. Is the heat on like a little warm? It is warm in here, right? All right, we love you guys. Mwah. I have a mover in there, let me tell you though. Really? He's a kicker, uh-huh. <laughs> this is just his head, we're gonna get some measurements. I'll just take a peek through it. Okay. Just a couple different parts. Another part gonna measure. This is the back of the brain. Gonna measure. Spinal fluid back there. Good. Do a little sweep through. It's so cool how you could see that. I just see like a bubble. <laughs> I know, kind of all looks the same. Yeah. <laughs> Let's come over and we'll measure the belly. A little abdomen. Oh. And just circle around it. And come over and measure his leg. Upper leg bone. Oh wow. Measure his arm. Upper arm bone. And we'll get his little bladder. <sighs> this little dark circle. Taking a look at his cord. And the color shows the blood flow in the cord. So that's okay. good. Little stomach. So this dark circle. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we'll get his kidneys. Uh -huh. This is another view of those. We're just looking in from his back. Okay. And color shows blood flow going to them. That's good. Little chest. Come over, we'll grab your placenta. So it's right here on the back part of the uterus. It's a great spot. Is it true that it's in different spots for girls and boys or is that a wise tale? No, it, that's not true. Oh, okay. Yeah. It can be in different spots um, for different pregnancies and that kind of stuff, Got but it's just it. kind of wherever it implants. Got it. Yeah, I saw this thing online. It was like, if it's on the right, it's a... Oh, oh they a, have like an early, yeah. like early, early one. Yeah. I don't, I don't know about that one. I don't... Oh, he's here in the lobby. Let me okay. to come in. I'll just tell him, you just missed my ovaries. It's not yeah. that big of a deal. Ovaries and measurements. It's okay. <laughs> we saw nothing else. Okay. <laughs> Is that his little head? Little face. Mm -hmm. Cute little face. I'll show him all this stuff too when he comes okay, in. Okay, cool. Grab his little spine. Oh, he's calling me. Is he on the right off? He's just kind of hanging out in there today. I said, I'm like, normally he's a mover and a kicker. He actually felt him kick from the outside for the first time. Oh, really? A couple days ago, yeah. Aww. All right, so I'm gonna grab his little legs. <laughs> he's got the lower legs. 
have both of them, so that's good. Good. Just get his little feet. <laughs> right in the corner. <laughs> Two little feet. Gotta be a little footprint. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> To me, my dad's for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Unless it's my dad's for Flintstone feet. <laughs> that's about Bigfoot, actually. <laughs> but hopefully, he gets his height. <laughs> Four centimeters in length. Big boy. Got his legs just like over his head now. Here's his head. Here's his. Oh my leg. god, that's so oh. funny. <laughs> Part, so. Well, that's good. At least you're <laughs> there. <laughs> Not shy. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Good. So this is just his little belly, little heart beating. Oh, I didn't listen to that. Oh yeah, you can see. <laughs> This is his little chest. You can see his diaphragm. Wow. And we'll take a peek through his spine. Wow. Does it ever get old doing this? No. Through the spine. Fascinating, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's There's amazing. a front view of his face right there. You can see his little eyes. You can see the actual lens of the eye right there, a the little circle wow. inside. Oh, so his face is like his forehead's to the left? So forehead right here, and okay. these are the eyes, the little nose area, okay. and then chin right here. So he's looking straight on at us. <laughs> and then the legs are up over the head. <laughs> so funny. That's why I saw all those heart kicks. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can zoom in on his heart a little bit. We'll get some views of that. Oh, that's cool. So four chamber, it's exactly what you need. Perfect. So that's good. Put a little color on it, we'll look at the blood flow. Looks good? Mm-hmm. Good. And I'm just gonna grab a couple different views of the heart. Okay. It's got that arm like right across right here. <laughs> Are you gonna be stubborn? A little bit. I have to take blame for that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you admit it, right? That's right. <laughs> All right, we'll come back to it. Gotta get him to wiggle a little bit. You're so bent in half, bud. How much will he move around in there? They move around a lot. Yeah. yeah. He still has the space so he can kind of flop around. He's just kissing his leg. It's <laughs> so funny. He his little Maybe knee little right gymnast. there. <laughs> right over his head. <laughs> so cute. Kind of a little profile right here. He's showing on yes. what I could do, Dad. <laughs> I think he is, because he just started doing this when you got here. <laughs> yeah, it 
was like way over his head. That's so funny. <laughs> All right, we got a little flexible yoga baby. <laughs> Cute little hand right there. Oh. Let's see all five of his fingers. Yeah. <laughs> the other one's still kind of tucked back over here. You can see the knuckles. He's, that one's in a fist. That's his ear right there on that side. That's so funny. I was saying before he got here, it's so cool how she could pick all that out because it just looks like bubbles to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have your roll to your left side. Okay. 